Good morning, beautiful people. Happy Saturday. I was inspired by the 34th law of the 48 laws of power, as it immediately led me to think of the crown chakra. The law states, be royal in your own fashion. Act like a king to be treated like a king. I'm not much for patriarchal standards nor acting, so I say, be royal in your own fashion. Be a king or queen to be treated like one. When you look at the law and the crown chakra, there lies the importance of having a solid sense of self. A sense of understanding that you are a chosen people by the divine and must therefore align yourself with yourself as such. And what keeps us from experiencing ourselves in such a way is the strategically placed static designed by those who tell us who we are as well as by ourselves. We have learned to ignore the signals of our bodies, our mind, our spirit. Signals in the form of pain, sickness, confusion. Signals that know that what is, is and has always been wrong. And it desires nothing more for us, but for us to know this truth, to breathe this truth, to be this truth. A great example of this static is being overrun by the thoughts in our mind. I know what you're thinking. Is it possible to quiet the mind? How do I block out what's trying to pollute my thoughts? Many of us struggle with the loud stumbling of thoughts, one after the other, colliding with an endless sea of questions, sounds, and images so violently that they eat away at our long-term memory, eat away at our identity, eat away and manipulate how we see the world, which in turn blinds us from being able to see ourselves. As mentioned in a previous episode, it is very important to be mindful of what we feed our eyes and our ears because both lead to the mind. And just as significant, we have to be mindful of what we allow ourselves to believe about us. We have to be diligent in the pursuit of silencing the ruckus, seeking it in the same manner our lungs seek the air we breathe, seeking peace. Meditation is a good activity to practice the art of silencing the static. And what discourages many from doing this is because we think there is only one way to do it. It can be done the traditional way, by sitting on the floor or on a mat with the legs crossed and the eyes closed, or by laying down on the floor or even in bed, or sit in a chair, any position that is comfortable. The focus of the meditation can be on one's natural rhythm of breathing, allowing the mind to roam freely with the idea of finding the important messages hidden in the chaos or on a meditative sound that can be found on YouTube. And once the mind settles into a peaceful state, our spirits will be able to speak without being interrupted. Thus, beginning our transformation into realigning who we actually are with supreme confidence and belief in ourselves. And with this, the discovery of what makes us unique and different from one another, allowing it to be so contagious that it inspires those we come across to do the necessary work so that they too can connect with their royalty so that we can eliminate the ideology that there isn't enough resources for everyone to have their own kingdoms and queendoms. Eliminating the phrase, heavy is the head that wears the crown, because we'd wear it together. I love you all.